All right, so it's gonna be just a quick little ore guide video. Um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to set it down to NG0. We're gonna have 100% ore gain here. We're gonna grab the Miner's Delight for another 100. Grab the extra region of mana. You can pick whatever other drinks you want. This is all you really need. And from there, I want to roll for probably the old map. I think we'll go faster with the old map. And then I'm going to craft the pickaxe. We have the pickaxe attuned, so that'll bring us to 300 ore. So let's just find that real quick. It's all the pickaxe, but we're looking for the, the map. Why well, would just pass up some good items for like an actual run? Alright, so there's the old map. We don't really need any keys, we'll just grab some just cause. Let's craft the pickaxe. So that brings our ore gain to 300 on NG0. And then I just don't like dealing with traps. We're gonna do expanded floors. Um, we're gonna kinda go for as much ore as possible. So we'll also turn on the plentiful gifts, chance to find imps, just in case they give us uh, ore. We'll do the extra treasure from treasure hunt, extra treasure from glass walks. You can even turn on offshore account if you want. You don't have to do all of this. You can do less. More elites. Um, great threats are more frequent. That's fine. More enemies, more mini bosses. We can do faster enemies. We don't even need potions. We don't need secrets. We don't even need shops. So you can do as much or as little as this as you want. And yeah, so this is going to be our quick ore run. So that's all the setup you need to do. And let me look. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer like now. We'll kind of see how fast we can go. So we're just ignoring everything, going straight for the portal. We're going to get the bulk of our ore in the last, uh, the last two acts. We're going to skip everything else up until then. I'll sell some more, but I'll just grab it. I'm like, not worried about it now. Just worried about the Act uh, 5 ore. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. Because ideally, you would just, instead of uh, going out of your way to pick up some ore right now, you would just run another ore, another ore run like this, because Act 5 gives you so much more ore than anywhere else in the game. And I have keys, but we don't really need the items. So we're just kind of ignoring it. We'll have plenty of items from this. Alright, so now we're in Act 5. Start getting ore. Really only going for ore. You can grab chests if you want. But you really don't have to. I kind of probably shouldn't have even picked up the uh, keys. They're just there in case I can easily access a chest like this one. Alright, see some more ore on the map. You can also pick up as much gold as you want. Technically every thousand gold is uh, another ore. But it really depends on your thief NG level if it really matters or not. This is like quite close enough. Probably about as far as I want to go. 
out of my way for an item. And we don't have secrets turned on, so we don't even have to worry about the walls. We don't have shops turned on, we don't have to worry about that. You can grab models if you want. You don't need to. So it should be a pretty flexible or run for solo play. It should be pretty quick. So we're at 88 now. We're hoping to get a good bit more before the end. I think we can usually get around 300. I think on average it's not really worth going after the drawbridges unless you just want the money. Definitely have runs where I uh, get more money, especially if I find like a, uh, a money monolith or something. The gold find the gold fever monolith. It's even more beneficial to pick up the, the diamonds. So it's kind of up to you if you want to pick up diamonds or not. We have an ace key. We don't even really need it. <laughs> we could just straight ignore it if we wanted to. It is right next to some gold, so we'll just grab it for fun. So I think our thief's high enough where each of these diamonds are probably an ore. Gold diamond or lots of ore. <laughs> All right. There's gold fever. So now we can go out of our way if we want. Get some more gold. Let's grab the gold, see how much we can get. There's only so many diamonds on this floor. Pretty much done with the run now. If you can't beat Dragon, you can just deposit here. But it's pretty much on farm status. So I'm just gonna kill him real quick. Now let's see, 218 gold, 71k. 218 or 71k gold, which that's going to get reduced by tax, but it's going to be hard to tell, because I don't think I put... Oh, I did. Okay. So 218 plus some amount. 218, that's already been added, plus another 61, so almost 300 ore, and it took us about 7 minutes to do that run. So that might be like the ceiling is 300 ore every 7 minutes, which you're going to get into crazy amounts of ore per hour. Um, so I'd say that's kind of the ceiling of this build. Um, if you're on lower NG or don't have your uh, class saddles as high, it's going to be a little slower, but even still, you should be able to get 300 ore every 10 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. I think it's going to be the most effective uh, ore farming, at least for solo play, maybe even group play, just because the setup time will be a lot less. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We got um, our NG plus six Ranger done 
and we've got 